Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I just walked down the hill so you didn't have to see that again. So, let's get back to my wife. They pack really light. Can I kill myself there? Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll never know. How about here? No, I can't. That'd be funny just hearing uh, the bitch scream. She's not very fast. It ain't really that dark. Hello? Whatever. Anyone here? Should I, it's insta flashlight, my god. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. You know. I don't think I ever explored over here that much, so I might as well. Nope, nothing really. My ear itches. Oh, um, I kind of remembered I, uh, I saw Cars 2 today. It was a pretty decent movie. I will say it had Pixar's best animation. Everything looked great in the movie. I mean, I know Pixar always, always make good shit. Even Bugs Life looks pretty decent as far as today goes. But, I mean, my god, they looked beautiful. But, yeah. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. I feel like there was something else over here. That water looks quite nice. Alright. My god, why can't you run? Yep. Alright, I smashed every controller right button I had just to see if I could run. generator had been connected to the power cable. I, I remember that being an achievement. Welcome to the family. Yep, I'm lost. Okay. Um. Hmm. When the shit gets serious. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Foreshadowing. Wow, 
All right. I'm making sure there's nothing to examine. I really thought I was going to get laid the first time I went up here. See, look, I even saw her pants off. I was like, oh. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. She should have been the surprise. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. <laughs> Alice? Cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice, Alice, where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. What? Yeah, I got you this time, fuckers. First time they they got me. Wasn't expecting them. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What would you do if this happened to you? Just all of a sudden, you just... Woke up in a car crash. Well, I guess it could be possible actually if you crashed and forgot, but the still. Book, the Creator's Dilemma by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> I could probably kill myself here, but I don't want to. Uh. Anyways, here's a question for you guys. Uh, what What's your phobia? The, the Alice is afraid of the dark. So what are you afraid of? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. My phobia is... I'm not claustrophobic. But... Damn. Like... Say if I was in a pipe... Or something and I got stuck and I could not move just I had no I could not move my arms legs anything fucking that would flip me out I I like to have control I mean even if I'm in a closet or something like I'm not claustrophobic because I can still move and I know I can get out anytime I want to but as soon as I know that I'm stuck uh, just, um, 
uh, my my nerves just start kicking in big time. So yeah, that's mine. Hello? Wait, I'm just going back and forth. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. That's about the worst page to find. Oh. Well, I think it took me to the one that we were supposed to. The so. man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. <sighs> Suspenseful. Yeah. So many pages. Uh anyways. Nothing seems to be over here. That's literally about the worst page that you can find. And why doesn't it say like Alan attacked by fluffy unicorns? I've been in an accident! Dum 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 dum. I remember this part pissing me off, actually. Parts where I can't fight and, like, I'm just running away from someone, I hate. I hate in video games. This, this game has a good bit of them. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. I'd still, I'd still be really creeped out by the by the uh, passage of the book, actually, if it was me. Here we go. Anybody Bullshit. There? Please! I've been in an accident! That was probably the exact same thing. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non reflectable. Reservation has required fair and square. Uh. Fair and square. I hate parts like this in video games. I like to be able to fight my attacker. stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Run! No! Shit! I had to figure a way out of this. Any 
second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. I'm pretty sure that part was supposed to be actually just like exactly like the shiny. As long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. During your trying, it's the latest thing in proven help. Let you. Stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. Same time. I remember not knowing what to do here. Oh, okay. Yes. Sheriff Station. Hold me up. Hello? Hello? Fuck. This is bad. Get me out of here. was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Oh, these little arrows. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Nice. I remember there being one more enemy here than what I thought there was. Oh, I guess I should have used that actually. Alright, did this actually do anything? Alright, whatever. My back it just It's rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Lake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. I'm really not that great of a person. Well, I don't know where to go. Oh. Alright, with that checkpoint, I'll bid you adieu.